See behind me a statue commemorating Abraham Lincoln, the attorney. Abraham Lincoln has had a profound influence in my career as an attorney. If you visit my office in Church Hill and you look beneath the glass of my conference room table where each and every client and I have met over 20 plus years, nearly 30 now, they'll see underneath that glass these words. Discourage litigation. Encourage your neighbors to compromise whenever you can. As a peacemaker, an attorney has the opportunity to be the better man. There will still be business enough. Good words for a young attorney. And if I may, let me take just a moment of personal privilege to say thank you to all of you for my job. It clearly is the highest honor in my lifetime, and I consider it my privilege each and every morning when I awake to represent the folks in Claiborne County and the other five counties of the 4th Senate District. You know, February 12th marked the 200th anniversary of the birth of Abraham Lincoln. And for some time now, individuals, organizations, state, local, and federal government have been planning events to celebrate the life of our 16th president. Today, 144 years after his untimely death, we gather here on this beautiful campus on this beautiful morning at Lincoln's Memorial University to honor his memory and commemorate his death. On February 12th of 1809, Abraham Lincoln was born near what is now called Hodgkinsville, Kentucky. His parents, Thomas and Nancy Hanks Lincoln, as young children traversed Boone's Trail across our own Cumberland Gap, just behind me, into central Kentucky. The Lincoln family continued to follow the frontier westward from Kentucky into Indiana and then further west into Illinois. Young Abe Lincoln worked on his father's farm and freighted produce on a flat boat to New Orleans, kept shop, and yes, split rails. As a young man on the frontier, he read the limited materials that were available to him, the Bible, some Shakespeare, a few popular novels of the day, and perhaps most importantly, the Constitution of the United States. Through reading, there developed in him an unquenchable <coughs> thirst for learning that never left him throughout his lifetime. Lincoln began to form his vision for America during those frontier years, a vision that would serve him well during that awful cataclysmic civil war. While living in New Salem, Illinois, Lincoln the soldier served his country in the Black Hawk War. Many say it was his leadership of men in that war that led to his election to his first term in the legislature of Illinois. Due to encouragement from fellow lawmakers, Lincoln began to study the law. Using Blackstone's commentaries, his innate common sense, and his persuasive qualities, he enjoyed a great deal of success on the uh, Illinois judicial circuit. His law practice gave him those essential tools that were necessary for participation in the politics of his day. Accustomed to the harsh realities of frontier life, and aware of both good and evil in society, Lincoln's evolution into the status of preeminence in American politics had begun there on the frontier. He began to hone his political skills while serving several terms in the state legislature and during a brief tenure in the United States Congress. 